pretty good comprehensive list of all the things a regular guy might need for some hobby gunsmithing and just for cleaning their guns. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your basic gunsmithing or gun cleaning workbench. Now this isn't going to be for your professional gunsmith. This is just for the regular guy that's interested in guns and uh, at the very least needs to clean those guns, but also likes to get into some basic gunsmithing and uh, building AR-15s and things like that. If you like this kind of video guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and please give us a thumbs up. That thumbs up really helps us out with YouTube. Also, as we're going along in this video, if you have any suggestions or things that you see that I should be doing better or tools on here that I don't have and I need, please comment down below. We can use all the help we can get. So let's get right into it. As you can see on this wall behind me, I'm utilizing some slat wall panels. The slat wall I'm using is actually a plastic or polymer slat wall. Um, I think it looks a little nicer. It's also going to hold a little more weight. You can also use pegboard or even plywood with some nails driven in it would work fine. You're also going to need some type of work surface. Um, I built my own workbench here. It doesn't require anything super special. You can build your own or you can buy one from one of the big box stores. Those work fine too. But let's get this camera turned around and we'll talk about some of the stuff I have on this workbench. All right, guys, first we're going to talk about the bench itself. I just used a two by four frame with some one by material on the top. That works fine for my purposes. Um, if you think you want something thicker, you can laminate two of these together to add some thickness or just use some two by material. You are also going to want to put some kind of finish on there to protect the wood from the oils and cleaning solutions and stuff that you're using with your guns. Along those same lines, you can see I am using a tech mat. Uh, these things are great. It gives you a nice soft protective surface to work on, as well as most of them give you a nice reference of all the different parts and things like that if you need that reference while you're building out your guns. I also have a smaller one here that I can use with my handguns if I want to. Next thing all gun workbenches should have is um, some type of vise. This is a four inch clamp on style vise from Wilton. Along with that, I have uh, several different accessories, different attachments that work well for holding your guns and barrels and things like that. Now, along with your vise, you're also gonna want to have um, several different types of bench blocks for whatever guns you happen to be working on. These are my AR-15 bench blocks. Underneath the workbench there, you can see I do have a uh, swivel bench stool and a small trash can and of course some paper towels cleaning up. Now let's get to the stuff up here on the wall. This is going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to start over here. I'm going to work my way over. First thing I have here is a digital lime and trigger pull scale. Uh, that's nice for if you're swapping out triggers. You need to test to make sure what your trigger pull is. Uh, for me personally, I do a lot of reviews. So this comes in handy so I can show you guys what the trigger pull is on different guns. Also up here on this shelf is my Wheeler hammer and punch set. This is a pretty nice little set here. It has several brass punches, some plastic punches, steel punches, and then of course the hammer with two different uh, hammering surfaces. It has a polymer surface and a brass surface. That's important to make sure you're not marring up the finish on your guns. And I will link to all these products in the description below so you can get them for yourself. Up here is just a uh, small socket set that has all the small sockets and bits that you may need for mounting different sights and accessories and things like that on your guns. That comes in handy. Moving on down, we have our torque wrench. That's important for, especially if you're building AR-15s for putting on barrel nuts and muzzle devices. Then we just have several different kinds of hammers. Have a, a regular rubber mallet and then some more specialty hammers. This hammer has two different rubber surfaces. Uh, the black is a little more dense. The yellow is a little softer, just whatever you might need to use that on. Next is just your regular old hammer that you'll have around your house. This is smaller than like a framing type hammer, uh, but it still has enough heft to really bang on stuff if you need to. Then moving on over, Armorer Tools. This is a, an AR-15 armorer's wrench. It has your uh, barrel nut wrench, castle nut wrench, and then your wrench for your muzzle device and things like that. Next is a similar product from Tapco. It's just a smaller version of it. Uh, this one I'll typically keep in my gun bag in case I need to use it while I'm out on the range. And you can see here, this one also has a bottle opener, 
because when you're working on guns, sometimes you just want a beer. Next is a uh, smaller barrel nut wrench. This is designed to be used with your torque wrench. In this roll here, we just have a set of roll pin punches. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money on something like this, but you do want to make sure that they're going to hold up well over time. So uh, roll pin punches are a must when you're working on guns. Down here below that on the bench is another must have on a gun bench. This is just a little magnetic tray for putting in all your screws and pins and things like that. The last thing you want uh, when you're putting your guns back together is to find out that you lost a screw. So this is going to help make sure that doesn't happen. We also have the Wheeler bench block. Uh, this comes in handy a lot for disassembly and assembly of your guns. It has a lot of different uses. Any bench block could work. You could even use a uh, two by four with holes drilled in it, but uh, I do like the Wheeler products. Next is the Wheeler gunsmith and screwdriver set. This is a really nice set here. It comes with the large screwdriver and the smaller precision screwdriver with every bit you could ever need for working on guns. It's got the larger bits here and then the smaller bits designed to work with the smaller screwdriver and a really handy diagram up here to tell you the sizes of all these bits and a little tray that you can drop the screws down in if you need to. Moving on over up here in this basket, have different uh, cleaning supplies, uh, no particular brands or anything like that. This is some Birchwood Casey gun oil, got your good old rim oil, some hops number nine, and then some otter choke tube and uh, gun grease. Down below that, we have some uh, Birchwood Casey Super Blue if you need to fix some bluing on your guns. Also some gun stock finish. Some good old blue Loctite. I also like to keep around some red and purple Loctite just depending on what we're doing. Got some uh, replacement heads for that hammer I showed you guys earlier. We have the Wheeler Level Level Level. Tools designed for helping you line up your scopes and things like that. That definitely comes in handy. It is magnetized. And one of the most valuable tools I have on my bench is the AR-15 roll pin tool. If you've ever been putting an AR-15 together and you shot that little spring and detent across the room, this tool is designed to make sure that never happens again. I love that little thing. Next up down here, we just have several different sizes of Q-tips. That's nice for cleaning, getting in small spaces and things like that. I have uh, different types of tape, some electrical tape, and just some masking tape. Moving on over, we got a standard headlamp that is really nice for when you uh, are working on guns and you need to just get a closer look in there at what's going on. That's nice to have. Of course, some safety glasses. Definitely don't want a spring popping out and hitting you in the eye or getting some uh, gun oil in your eyes or anything like that. So safety glasses is nice to have. Also down here in this cup, we have, we have several different sizes and shapes of files. Those come in handy if you need to file down any sites or anything like that. We have different pins and markers. We have several different styles of picks. This is a plastic pick. Also have some metal picks for getting in down there and grabbing springs or scraping things off. I also like to keep a little uh, white paint pen around in case I want to put a little white dot on some sites or if I want to mark my magazines, that comes in handy. Also keep several different types of brushes. We have both a wire brush and the regular brush that has a large head and the small head for getting down in and cleaning tight spaces. It's nice to have a small measuring tape just because. Some tweezers, that comes in handy a lot. And then of course our Magpul dummy rounds. I have another small precision style screwdriver with all the bits. Another really nice tool to have is one of these retractable magnets in case you drop something and you need to get down in there and grab that screw or spring or whatever. Also like to keep some compressed air around. That's nice for um, spraying out the guns, getting all the dust and grime and stuff off of them. Up here beside all this, I keep a couple different sizes of cleaning rod, both a small one for handguns and of course a long one for rifles and shotguns. You'll notice down here I do have power integrated into the bench in case I need to use any power tools or charge my cell phone or anything like that. Something else that's really nice to have, I have several of these bins here for keeping miscellaneous gun parts and small accessories and things like that. I have a different drawer for uh, each gun and all its parts, several different uh, random AR-15 parts and accessories down here, some miscellaneous shot shotgun stuff, magazine springs. It's nice to have something like that to keep all that organized so you can find it when you need it. 
And then up here on the top of the bench, guys, we do have a work light up there. I believe that's a Honeywell LED light. It also has a Bluetooth speaker in it so we can jam out while we're working on our guns. Above that, I have a shelf. And right now that's just holding some extra gun cases. And then that black pouch up there is my Otis gun cleaning kit. I'll pull that down and show that to you real quick. All right, down here with that uh, Otis kit, I just have another gun cleaning mat so I can help protect my bench. The Otis kit is a really nice one. It has every type of wire brush you could possibly want all the way from 22 up to 12 gauge. It also has a little smaller kit here with the more used brushes. And then of course, your uh, attachments for your patches and then your pull through cable of course we got plenty of cleaning patches just more of our different cleaning supplies and oils and things like that the otis kit also comes with some optic spray to clean off your scopes as well as a little brush for cleaning out your optics more brushes another roll pin punch set um, i try to keep this otis kit kind of a self-contained kit if i need to take this with me i'll have a way to clean guns if i'm not here at my bench i'll have pretty much everything i need in that kit all right guys i feel like that's it that's a pretty good comprehensive list of all the things a regular guy might need for some hobby gunsmithing and just for cleaning their guns and stuff like that let me know what y'all think in the comments below all right guys, that's it for my gunsmith and gun cleaning station. Let me know in the description below if there's anything I need to add or anything that you guys would do different. I definitely appreciate some constructive criticism, so definitely make sure you comment below. If you like this video guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and definitely don't forget to thumbs up. That really helps us out. Uh, if you wanna help support the channel, another way you can help us out is by joining us on Patreon or visiting pilotpatriotapparel.com. Also, as time goes on, YouTube continues to demonetize our videos. We have decided to make a backup account over on Rumble. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And make sure you just follow us on all our various uh, social media sites. That way we can stay in contact with you guys. Hope you liked the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time and things like that and things like that gun oil in your eyes or anything like that some things like that if oils and things like that scopes and things like that or anything like that gun parts and small accessories and things like that 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 and things like that